Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. My name is Neil. Thanks for joining me today. We are looking at some jersey concepts today and from a very special person, BW Jerseys, aka BW Hockey on YouTube, aka Brendan. You guys have seen him uh, send me some jersey photos and uh, do some cryptic guessing and that was a really fun video and he's come up with these concepts. There are I think there's supposed to be 31. Actually, there's only 30. There was a duplicate in there and there's no Pittsburgh. So I just noticed it at, right before I was going to film this video. So uh, I don't know if that was my mistake uh, or Brendan's mistake, but uh, I only have 30 of them. So no Pittsburgh. So I apologize. It was just, I didn't have anything else organized and ready to film. So I just, I just went with this. So unfortunately no Pittsburgh, but uh, yeah. And I've, I've, I've ranked these. This is, this is not a reaction video. I have ranked these and uh, we're gonna go through them 30 to one, my least favorite to favorite. And if you guys want to come up with your concepts, you can go to sports templates, Dot net check out all the templates over there check out the exact template that we're going to see in this video the jersey one but there are other hockey templates as well there's a goalie mask one a really modern one there's also an old school goalie mask one that is completely free so if you have photoshop already and you want to play around with one of these templates get the old school uh, goalie one that is free and you can use that right now absolutely free there are other sports as well basketball football baseball though all those sports have different templates that you can get and uh, there's other hockey ones as well, too. There's uh, center ice designs and puck designs. There are all kinds of templates over there to play around with your creativity and your Photoshop skills. And uh, yeah, just have fun. So sportstemplates.net and then use code post to post Save yourself 10%. All right, let's get into these. Like I said, I've ranked them. I'm going to start off with number 30, my least favorite. Here we go. I have ranked the Ottawa Senators last. Now, I think this jersey is... Um, it's at the very least interesting, and I like these designs that kind of go the route of what the LA Kings did in the stadium series against San Jose, and obviously the San Jose uh, jersey that is in the same game as well. This kind of reminds me of that, and I, I do like it, but I think in this context, the logo is so big, and it's also dropped down to sit on that middle black section. I think it's just just slightly unrealistic to have the that logo um, down that far. It's, it's not really on the chest at that point, it's on the belly. And uh, I felt like the logo on the arm as well. It's right on the elbow, right on the bending point. So while it's kind of a cool looking jersey, I felt it was unrealistic based on the placement of things. And that's kind of how I base my ranking on this one. Uh, in 29th place, I've put the Islanders. Uh, it's actually not too bad. I like the shoulders a lot. The shoulders being uh, white, they do use that in their alternates. Uh, not shaped exactly like that. They're more square, uh, but I, these, these look fine as well. I like the shoulder patches too. But I think overall, there's just a lot going on. There's the number on the elbow, which again, a bit unrealistic. The NY logo mirroring or bouncing with the C, which is a nice touch. But then there's also the shoulder patch. So there's just, there's a lot of thing. There's a lot of additions, I think, to the jersey other than just general stri striping. So it just, it feels quite busy to me. Number 28, I put my Montreal Canadiens. And this is simply the, for, for the fact that, well, it reminds me of the, rever of the reverse retro, which I absolutely love but I don't think it's as good as the reverse retro. So for that reason, I kind of just threw it down near the bottom of my list. Number 27, I put the Vegas Golden Knights and I do see reverse retro hints in here as well, specifically that kind of shape in the middle of the jersey. And it's not too bad. I think the numbers um, were a slightly distracting for me uh, being outlined in red. Maybe if they were white and outlined in red or maybe outlined in white and s stuck with the gold i think i would like it uh much more but i will say that i actually do like this more than the uh vegas gold knights reverse retro which is i think over to my shoulder uh my right shoulder number 26 the st louis blues i don't i don't really dislike this this concept i think i've just seen um i've seen similar ones and i've just kind of liked them more that's really what it comes down to i don't really have anything negative to say about this jersey there's nothing like i said there's nothing specific that i don't like about it i've just seen others that i like more number 25 the uh new jersey devils it reminds me a lot of the edmonton oilers two-tone jersey but from the i've ranked it where i've ranked it because of the neck uh, i just find it's just a little bit too thick up near the neck and uh, i just find it just slightly distracting but i love what he did with the rest of the jersey the numbers look cool the a uh, the, the primary logo and then the, the striping along the bottom as well, but uh, loses points in the neck for me. Number 24, the LA Kings. Look at this. This is this is awesome. I, I, I mean, you might be a little confused because I just said this is rank 24 and then I started to praise it. I love that shoulder patch. That shoulder patch is unbelievable. I, I Phenomenal. The Kings text in the back of the collar, that is also amazing. I actually like the way that he colorized the primary, prim, sorry, primary logo in the middle of the jersey 
He's going with the purple. He's going with the yellow. That was a bug. Maybe it wasn't. Felt like a bug. Uh, but the crown on the arm is is a bit of a miss for me. I I think it's just it. It's almost too cartoony or gimmicky. I think it could, could totally do without the crown on the arm, and this would be probably a top five jersey for me if I'm being totally blunt. Number 23, the Colorado Avalanche. And as you guys know, or maybe you don't, maybe you're new, if you are, hit the subscribe button. But if you do know me, then you know that the Colorado alternate jersey is my all-time favorite NHL jersey, which is, this is similar, but it's not as nice as it, in my opinion. So for that reason, I put it down quite low, but I do like it. Number 22, the Nashville Predators. And um, overall, I think this is okay. It's slightly busy. There's, uh, there are some distracting factors. I think the striping on the arm, having the pick so big on there, uh, again, that would be probably more of a patch. Um, you'd, if it was going to go there, it would have to be screen, screen printed because of, again, the, the elbow movement. Uh, but there's that, then there's the numbers, then there's the shoulder patch, and then there's the pattern on the back of the neck, which I guess you wouldn't see if someone 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 was wearing it. But still, it's just there's a lot going on. So I think I would remove the pick from the arm and just keep that regular striping, uh, keep the shoulder patches, and I think just removing that pick, or that that uh, alternate logo that they use would uh, would clean this up quite quite a bit. And it's interesting what he did with the uh, shoulder patches as well. He almost put like a slash through it, a saber slash. So that was a that was a really nice addition. Number twenty one, the Chicago Blackhawks. And I kind of went back and forth on this one. I had it quite high for a bit, and then I was like, nah, the numbers on the shoulders, I think I would change those. So I, I dropped it down to the low 20s, so it sits at 21. Uh, so the bottom of the jersey is excellent. I love the fact that there's no color in the bottom of the sleeves. I think I think that's a that was a brilliant decision. The bottom of the jersey, the middle part, uh, just having those three red stripes, I like that as well. And then the logo kind of bleeding off to, I guess, its right into a striping that leads into the arm was one of the coolest decisions I think I've ever seen on a Chicago Blackhawks design. I, I really, really like that. And where it loses it for me is where it starts to go up into the C and then the numbers. I think it being uh, red, stroked in black, and then stroked again in red. Um, I like to see maybe some white in there. I think the the numbers on the shoulders are slightly too big as well. Um, add some white and, and make them a little bit smaller because right now they're fighting for uh, the primary element versus the primary logo in the, or the middle logo in the middle of the jersey. Number 20, the New York Rangers. So the striping on the arms is similar to the reverse retro, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But um, when I look at this, I think I, I think this isn't better than the current home jersey. And it might be the number. From a distance, it almost looks like a like a cross uh, a little bit. And it, if I just like look off to the side and just look at it in my peripheral vision, it kind of looks like the Confederate flag, <laughs> uh, just slightly. Uh, so I mean, if you look right at it, obviously it's not. But um, I, I'm a, I'm a bit on the fence with this one, guys. I'm a bit on the fence with this one. Number 19, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Guys, this I think this would be a really good option for the Toronto Maple Leafs if they ever did like a Winter Classic again. Going, or I guess kind of using a variation of their current logo, but the rest of the jersey has almost 70s vibes or, or like late 60s vibes for me. And maybe that's just, uh, maybe it doesn't. I can't re quite recall what jerseys they used during that time period. But just generally when I look at it, it reminds me of that era. And uh, the logo that they use on the front, which is that one, is um, it, it's classic as well. Like that is their current modern logo. It, it, but it feels old school, so it does fit on this jersey. So I like the approach that he took here. But generally, it's not the best uh, Toronto Maple Leafs uh, concept that I've seen. Number 18, the Arizona Coyotes. A combination of the official current home jersey uh, and then the, kind of the kachina as well. you got that pattern there in the elbow. This was, this was pretty good. And the only reason that I say... Uh, not in the top 15 is kind of because I know the direction of the Coyotes that are where they're going and it looks like they're going to slightly redesign the Kachina jersey for the home and then come out with a new away Kachina jersey. Still speculation, still not fact, but that's kind of the direct direction that we're going. So when I look at this, I think, well, um, yeah, the Arizona Coyotes are coming out with something new, but it's not going to be this. So uh, therefore, maybe this is the wrong direction. I guess that's kind of where my mind's at. Number 17, the Detroit Red Wings. I seem to always rank Detroit near the middle of the pack because it, I find it's hard to screw up Detroit, but it's also really hard to like make a Detroit concept that stands out from all the other Detroit concepts because 
the Red Wings just have this lineup of jerseys that never really changes over the years. They've always had jerseys that kind of look the same, and they don't really, they don't branch out and do something drastic. And they shouldn't. Like that's why they're that's that's the, one of their the best points, uh, the best things about their jersey history, is that it remains the same because it's awesome. So, it, when a concept like this comes out, it reminds me of. The Winter Classic, I think, or maybe it's the Stadium Series one, or maybe both. Uh, I think there's there's elements in here. It's using an off white, so I, I I do think this could work. Absolutely, I think this could work, but I think it would have to be for a specialty jersey. Um, and again, I guess this whole this whole set is based on a color rush uh, idea. And I didn't say that at the beginning. I apologize, Brendan, uh, but this is all about color rush. But I, I see this more as like a Winter Classic kind of jersey. So they, if, they, if they were ever in a Winter Classic again and they came out with this, I think the fans would be okay with that. Number 16, the Vancouver Canucks. And while I'm typically not a fan of most of the concepts that I see using that as the primary logo, this is one of the better ones for me. I don't like the shoulders or maybe, let me reword that. I don't like the neck being that thick green. I think if that was blue, I might like it a little bit more. It just makes the shoulders stand out a little bit too much. I don't mind the Orca logo up there. I don't mind the rest of what's going on in the jersey. There's just a weird relationship here between the shoulders and the neck uh, coming in. It just it, it feels like the shoulders are floating a little bit, and they need to be have. Uh, it just needs to be more connectivity between the two. I think, in, in my opinion, through the neck. Number fifteen, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, I think this is really good. It is definitely one of the better Tampa Bay Lightning concepts that I've seen. I like the arms a lot. I like the bottom of the jersey. I like how the bolt comes down and at the tip of the bolt is kind of where that middle striping along the middle of the jersey starts. Uh, so there's a really nice balance there in design. But the the logo in the middle, for whatever reason, it just, it feels odd to me. And I think it's because it's the black in the background. And I would love to see Tampa use more black or any black anywhere. That would be That would be lovely other than their alternate, obviously. But I, for some reason, it just feels a little bit out of place. And I I think this might be one of those situations where it's just me. People will be watching this video and be like, I, I, I don't see why he has a problem with this. So I think I'll probably be in the minority here. But if you're on board with me, is there something off of that logo? Uh, let me know in the comments. Number 14, the Dallas Stars. This was a really cool one because it's it's taking elements that they've used on, on a bunch of different things and then added something new as well, that kind of uh, cream or desaturated gold color i kind of like it it's it's really simple jersey it's not uh it's not super modern it feels classic but not classic in the sense of something that they've used before but just something that maybe they could have used before in the 90s and that they're bringing back um so i i i, I like this concept i like this design number 13 the carolina hurricanes so he's taken the alternates and added a little bit of spice from the home jersey in there so he's got a variation of the alternate logo in the middle. He's added a bit of a, a background shape to it, but he's got the striping from the their primary home jersey in there, but obviously colorized to match the rest of the jersey. I think this is very promising. This is a really, really promising Canes concept. It's not the best I've seen, but it's definitely one that I could, uh, I could see them coming out with something like this and the fans really liking it. So I think, I think Brandon's on the right track here. Number 12, the Buffalo Sabres. The striping on the arm is very in your face, but it, it has this almost university or collegiate kind of feel to it. It feels like a university style or a college jersey, something that you'd see in, uh, is it the NCAA? Is that considered college? I think it is. Uh, I'm, I'm from Canada, so we don't have, we have universities and colleges and there's, that's basically it. Uh, but this, I feel like this jersey would kind of come from something like that. So uh, I, I like it is, is when I'm getting it. I do like it. Usually I don't like necks with that, just using one big thick stripe like that. But since there's so many of similar striping on the arms, it, uh, it balances nicely. Number 11, the uh, Edmonton Oilers. This is kind of goes, it kind of goes against some of my criticisms in past jersey concept videos where when I see striping that is replicated from the arms into the middle of the jersey like a backing stripe the fact that they're not on the same horizontal plane i usually complain about i don't mind it here i think it's because they're so separated like if those stripes on the arms were up higher near the elbow and they were almost kind of in line with the the striping in the, in the middle 
it would be too close for me and, and I would say okay well let's just let's just keep them on the same horizontal plane but they're so far apart here I think it I think it kind of works I like the fact that he didn't include a, a shoulder patch I think it makes the uh, makes the jersey and the, and the concept clean so I like this one number 10 the Philadelphia Flyers this is it's it's similar to their stadium series that they used or uh, yeah it's against Pittsburgh their stadium series against Pittsburgh and I, I think it's better I think it's better and I don't really have any like crazy wonderful things to say about it. I just think it's better than a jersey that it reminds me of that already exists. I'll leave it at that. Number nine, the Washington Capitals. I think a lot of people will disagree with me here. Most of the time when I see Washington concepts using the W, uh, they look phenomenal. I, I, I really like them, but I always get comments of people disagreeing, which is fine. I'm used to people disagreeing with me, uh, but I think people will disagree with me here. I think the majority of people watching would not have this in their top 10, but I really like this one a lot. Number eight, the Winnipeg Jets. And if you're familiar with Winnipeg Jets history, you'll know that they always were not, what, that didn't make sense. You would know that they weren't always <laughs> the Winnipeg Jets. They were the Atlanta Thrashers. And what did the Atlanta Thrashers use? That amazing jersey that had that one big stripe coming down the arm that said Atlanta. Love that jersey, wish I had it in my jersey collection. I don't, about once a month I check eBay for it. And uh, what I do find is just so egregiously priced, I just never buy it. But it is something that is on my unicorn bucket list for sure. But this is this is inspired, uh, or this jersey was inspired from that original jersey. So uh, I like his approach here. It's a bit off balance, obviously, but if you understand the history, it makes perfect sense to the franchise. And I, I hope they do something like this in the future. Number seven, the Calgary Flames. When I first saw this, I'm like, whoa, that's a little that's a little much. But then the more I looked at it, the more I thought, I think this might actually work. Like, I, I worry about what color the pants would be because the bottom of the jersey is white, but the bottom of the sleeves is red. So would the pants be red or would the pants be white? Or would the pants be black? These are the kind of things that I think about when I see concepts. Uh, I I've kind of try and visualize the rest of the uniform. But the jersey itself, I, I've never seen a Calgary concept like this. And for that reason, I really like it, and I like Blasty on the shoulder. Uh, I think maybe the bottom section, the middle, if I can change anything, that amount of white is just slightly too thick. I might uh, take the, the angle or the point out of the bottom, straighten it up, and then lower it down. Uh, if I'm being real nitpicky, that's what I would do. Number six, the Florida Panthers. Every single time I see a Miami Vice-inspired concept, it is in the top 10. Like it's almost guaranteed every single time. I love these colors together. This is probably my favorite color combination that doesn't exist in the NHL. It is just, this screams Florida to me. If you've ever been in Florida, it should scream Florida to you as well. So I love it. I think uh, I think that alternate logo that's on there that's been changed a little bit is, is perfect. I, I might add something to the shoulders just to give it a little bit of actual... Florida Panthers current flair, like maybe put the Panther in there or maybe their current logo, uh, something like that. Even the state flag that they currently use, just something that says this is the Florida Panthers, not a brand new uh, NHL team because it kind of does have a bit of vibes of brand new NHL team. You don't, if you weren't familiar with, I guess, Florida, you might not know what team this is and I don't know. The average hockey fan might not know. Number five, the Minnesota Wild. I looked at this first and I thought, that's a little bit gimmicky having the trees along the bottom. But I think it's I think it's totally acceptable. I think this would definitely work. Maybe not as uh, a regular home jersey, but this is a, like a color, ru color rush set. So I, uh, I think Adidas would kind of play with it a little bit and they'd be a little aggressive. Same with the Minnesota Wild. Uh, kind of like the Anaheim Ducks were with the reverse retro, kind of like the Arizona Coyotes were with their reverse retro. I could see this working. Number four, the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. The arms are really neat. Obviously, the stars are on there. We see that a lot. The chevrons shape as well. The uh, logos used in the shoulder patch, love it. But the coolest damn part of the whole jersey is the fact that he used a patch here for captain, and it literally says captain. It's not a C. It actually says captain. I, th I thought that was a phenomenal decision. It's just a really simple decision that you might actually see on a potential uniformed Blue Jacket soldier way back in the day. So, neat touch. Number three, the Anaheim Ducks. I think a lot about where the Anaheim Ducks future is going as far as their brand, as far as their jerseys, because I think it's getting a little bit long in the tooth. I'm, 
I don't think we're going to see it next year, but we might see it the year after. Uh, and I suspect that it's going to be a pretty bold change. I think they might go back to something like this. So the fact that Brendan kind of designed something that I was thinking of a little bit, not exactly, but very close, I had to put this in my top three because I think this is, not only is this a, a nice design, but it's extremely plausible. And I, I like the approach that he took here. Number two, the Boston Bruins. I don't really like the current Boston Bruins home jersey. I don't really like the current Boston Bruins away jersey. Now, there's rumor that they're going to change, which is exciting. But I love the Boston Bruins alternate, the black one. I love the Boston Bruins uh, winter classic. It's one of my favorite jerseys I have in my collection. I love it. This is almost a combination uh, between the two in a way. And I, there's not a thing I would change about it. There's not, a thing, there's not a negative thing I could say about it. If this existed, I would buy it absolutely immediately. And number one, I put the San Jose Sharks. And it's a gradient jersey. Something, I don't know if I've ever put a gradient jersey first when there has been no other gradients in the entire other set. This is the only one, and I put it first. But for good reason. Some teams, when a gradient happens, like Vancouver, a gradient in Vancouver, well, why? What's what's the what's the relation? Where does that come from? Tampa. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. Lightning. You think about clouds. The clouds have natural gradients in it and, and, and you know, different shades and stuff. Uh, that works. The sharks. Well, how does a gradient relate to the sharks? Well, I kind of see the sharks and the kraken as kind of the same thing. When I see a kraken jersey and I see gradient, I think, okay, I'm going to relate that to the ocean. I'm going to relate that to fog or mist. And I think about the sharks and, you know, I think of a night a nighttime scene where it's dark, but the moon's out, but so you can still kind of see the color of the water. Things are a little bit spooky and you just see this like top of the fin kind of going across the water like a, sh a shark just going on. So it has this like spooky, mysterious kind of feel to it. It uh, It's not just a jersey. It, it has emotion that comes with it. it. It almost puts you into a scene. And uh, for that reason, I think this I think this works I, like a lot. Like I really, really like this jersey. I like the fact that is there's no shoulder patch on there. It just adds to the the emptiness, I guess, of this of the scene. Um, so I like this decision a lot. I would love 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 it if this jersey existed. I think it's a I think it's a really cool jersey, and I think it would look really cool um, uh, as a uniform as well. So. Brendan, thank you so much for sending those in. I had a wonderful time going through them. I love looking at them. Uh, if you guys want to submit your concepts, I have a video called How to Submit Your Jersey Concepts to the Channel. It is, uh, I don't, it's not, maybe, maybe it is linked down below in the description. I can't remember, but if not, go to the main YouTube channel, or my main YouTube channel, and then just search post to post submit, and you will find the video for sure. I would love to see your concepts come in and uh, see what you got. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you. Leave your comments down below. Let me know which jersey in this set was your favorite and uh, shout out to Brendan for sending those in. Have a great day guys and I'll talk to you real soon. Adios.